A cult brand is something that, to me, now that we've gotten past Blue Oyster Cult, um, is something, A, that works on whatever scale, because a cult brand doesn't start huge. It dreams huge, but it thinks realistically. So in 1987, ESPN televised the America's Cup from, Aust from uh, the Indian Ocean. In, in off Perth in February, in the middle of the friggin' winter, at 3 a.m. in the east, midnight on the west coast. If you like sailing, we're giving it to you. We're giving it to you the best we can. And you know who got up one morning and watched it? It was Pete Rozelle, because he told me this. And he said, well, that was the final thing I needed to see about your network. Two months later, in March, I think it was, of 87, we signed an agreement starting that fall to have Sunday night football on cable TV, just eight games after Halloween, when we got the NFL eight years in, here we go. So sometimes you keep reaching for the sky, you don't get burnt, you do a good job of what you're doing. You know, we're not televising the Olympics in the 80s, but we're serious about what we're doing, but we're not too serious about ourselves. And Pete Rosell, as I said, one of the smartest guys, one of the most visionary people I've ever met. Huh? I see the way you guys do this. You're good enough for us. And, and there we were. And I mean, the rest is history. One of my favorite sayings, and we'll take some questions, is, you know, vision without action. Well, that's a daydream. Action without vision is a nightmare.